There's a place in Vietnam where the mountains reach higher than the clouds, where life is simpler and beauty and danger are intertwined. I'm gonna bring y'all along with me as I trek through Vietnam's Haiyang region. Time for a road trip. This is gonna be a series where we share meals with ethnic families, explore the markets, and dine on local delicacies. And in today's video, we're headed to a small village of the Zhao people where one family in particular brought me in and let me experience lunch with them. So go ahead, buckle up and get ready for a bumpy ride. This Hai Yang series is getting started right now. We have made it. A little bit of an overcast rainy day, but that's okay because we're gonna be in the kitchen all day and inside eating anyways. We're actually in a village with the Zhao people. So this is a clay helm too? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna be cooking too? Yeah, I'm gonna help her out. Ah, cái này là để 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 mình nấu với xương hả cô? Yeah, cái này. Canh xương đúng không? Ừ, canh xương. Một tí mình sẽ nấu canh xương. Dạ. Bây giờ rửa xong nấu với kia đúng không ạ? So we got two sections for the kitchen. Seems like they got the one where they keep stuff, wash things, keep all the vegetables, and back here, I think is where the high heat happens, where they do a lot of the cooking. Got a little flat top, walk, and I guess a little, I'm trying to call it a chimney because I'm used to having one of these in my house. Okay. Okay. Mm. Mm. Now, one thing these people are famous for are their homes because they're actually living clay homes. Now, clearly that's wood, but as you can see right here, I'm guessing paint it over or put another layer of something, but down in here, you can see the orange. They actually build all their homes, at least the base of them from clay. When you go outside, you can see full homes that are made clearly all from clay. <laughs> You're just getting it underway. A lot of vegetable cleaning. Got the base for a lot of soups going. And looks like Big Bro here is cooking some meat. When I lived in America, that's also how I cooked my green beans. You got some garlic on that. I'm all over that. Got the first couple done. The aroma's starting to fill the room. Starting to make my stomach growl just a little bit. Oh, she went and got more. Yeah. She just picked those? Right, right. Oh, you're about to get a workout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I spoke too soon. Now it's smelling good. Big Bro is actually crushing up some salt, those green little bird's eye chilies, and some garlic. She's got the eggs frying over here. I spoke too soon. Oh, 
Oh, it looks so good. Good job, bro. Yeah. I love it. Nhiều này không biết cho trang không nhỉ? Cho trang thì phải che một tí nhỉ? Dạ. After scooping that out, touched it with a little MSG, and then poured in the fish sauce, made it into more of like a sauce so you can just pour all over these dishes. And you'll see, no matter what dish we finish, it's always gonna get a little sprinkle of MSG on the top. And that's it. She's brought out the rice. She's dished it up. Everybody's bowl. We got one, two, three, four, five dishes, a soup, and a sauce. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Start off. <laughs> and then I'm going to get everything I dip in that sauce. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Ai làm món này anh luôn à? Cây ngon. Có thể ăn này người nhanh lắm. Mình ngồi ăn nó cũng ngon. Trên băng lơ hoặc nắng. Perfect rice, so soft, so moist, like a pillow. I could eat this all day. Đây là kia Việt kiều à? So this is actually the long bean she cooked up. That is done perfectly. Got the oil coating it. Got the snap. I cook down just enough to get a little bit of the sweetness released. But again, dipping it in that sauce is what this meal is going to revolve around. Love that peppercorn he added in there. Golly. And you know it's my type of meal. I ain't got the freshly roasted peanut. And they added the salt. It's like perfection. I'm glad that's far away from me because I'll feel bad for reaching over the table too much, so I will not destroy that whole bowl. Mm. Everything's so fresh. I mean, when you start them with a 10 out of 10, it's easy to make delicious food, you know? So the vegetable closest to me is the Kai and Ga, which translate, I do believe, is a choice sum or a variety of choice sum. So the Chinese flowering cabbage. Again, she cooked that up in some oil. Not to be repetitive, but you go into that sauce. Oh, it's about time. It's time to get it after the egg. I went for the, the spoon. I had to scoop some of that sauce because it's so good. Eggs may be the most amazing food product in the world. The way that just tastes so luxurious, so decadent. She's fried it up so it's a little bit crispy. And then again, that sauce, I've talked about it too much already, but it's absolutely delicious. The peppercorn makes it the way it's got that little bit of a numbing, a little bit of just green taste to it. Then you get the garlic, the fish sauce, and that green chili. Mm. Nhiều người Tây ở lâu nhưng mà cũng không biết dùng đũa đâu. Ừ, cái này. Cái này. Now, of course, everything is like MSG, salty, heavy, but that just helps it go further. That makes you help you take one piece of meat with like three or four scoops of rice. It helps extend the meal. You know, this isn't about making meat the main meal of the dish. It's about rice, sharing rice, get here, having a family meal, and then taking little bits and some pieces and having it with your rice. It's a minimum two bowl rice meal. Minimum. <laughs> I think for me though, it's about the egg, the green beans. I do like the pork for the meatiness, but man, right there, that sauce is the reason it's right in the middle of the dish. So everybody, everybody reaching for it. Mm. 
so refreshing, so many vegetables, so many light ingredients. You may say a lot of cooking with oil, but everything here is so light, or maybe I've been in Hanoi, so everything tastes light. So good. It's just so good. Dao Fong coming from their farm to order so fresh. The sweetness. And they add the salt. She's like my own mother. She's taking me under her wing. Said I can't leave till I eat all. Yes, ma'am. So all the food was in the center of the table, and now it's somehow just like dispersed around me, like I'm a great giant black hole in space, and everything is just attracted to me. But I'm okay with it. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> My pleasure. I'm glad to know I'm good for something. Let's put it all together. It's pretty darn good. She challenged me. She took care of me like family. And I am so full. Ah, what a great stay. Feels like I'm leaving family. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, fantastic meal, fantastic experience. And they do have homestay here, so you can experience this as well if you want. Yo, one more word that was so good. Just everything so fresh. Even the rice kind of came from their, I guess, what would you call that? Their back door. No matter what, an awesome experience. Just to get to experience a meal and get the hang of that lady. She's so, uh, her just like her energy and her vibe is just so... Oh, it's just like attractive. It makes me hyper. It makes me smile. It's amazing. But I'm on my way to find a hotel because we still got more to explore out here in the Haiyang area. So I'm going to get some sleep. I'm going to wake up early. I'm going to catch y'all in the morning for a little market video. It's been Max. Peace.